there's a pretty good chance that uh, this is the only time I'm ever going to talk about this movie. I have no real interest in seeing it in theaters, but I am kind of curious as to how they're going to sell it. So I'm going to take a look at the first trailer for the sequel to Joker, which has a French uh, subtitle that I don't care enough to bother how to pronounce. It's not a knock against uh, the language of French. That is a knock against how much I care about this movie. Quick reminder, because it's been a while uh, since the first one. I didn't have a ton of hope, but I had a little. Like, there were some things early on in the first trailers for the first Joker that made me think, if I understand what they're going for, there is a way this could work. I just don't know if they'll be able to thread the needle. They were not able to thread that needle. Um, I am not going to reiterate my problems with the original movie, partially because it has been so long since I've seen it, I'm not sure I could coherently... Uh, express my feelings anymore. Like, I have allowed the memory of this movie to fade. Um, so while I have a general uh, remembrance of what I didn't like about it, if you want me to cite specifics, explain why it didn't work, I'm not going to do that. I have a, it's an old video and probably not as analytical as I would now be if I was seeing it for the first time, but I have a review up on the main channel. You want to see what I said at the time. But basically what it boils down to is while uh, Joaquin Phoenix himself worked his ass off, like, no shade to him at all. And honestly, I'm not even that mad he got the Oscar. Like, I'm a little annoyed because I don't like the idea that that movie won anything. But, like, it was going to win something. That's, that's the thing I was honestly kind of the most okay with. He he put in so much work playing this part. All the props to him. But overall, the movie couldn't seem to settle on what its message actually was. It did a surface level skim of a bunch of stuff with edgelord vibes. Honestly, the whole thing, this is going to be a weird thing to compare to, the whole thing kind of reminded me of Garden State, that Zach Braff movie from a while back where it thinks it's being deep and it's clearly very proud of itself, but it's so superficial and it's so hollow. Anyways, there's a trailer. Lady Gaga's going to be in the new one. Let's see what we got. As I said, I do not expect this to change my opinion on actually seeing this thing. That would be shocking if it got me curious enough to see it again, seeing as the same people are behind it effectively. But let's at least see what they're selling or what they're trying to sell. All right. Okay, so we're starting with him. Joke for us today. Locked up. Okay, so we're doing. Who knows what her name's gonna be? To make us whole. Who knows what her name's gonna be, but. To balance the fractures within ourselves. Trying not to talk over. The Harley Quinn equivalent is already locked up. Okay. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Really? Oh, dear. All oh, right, it's a musical. I forgot about that. So are we doing what? Are we doing dream sequence song? So we go are we going Chicago on this? Huh. Oh, we are going for Harley. What's changed, Arthur? Well, I'll tell you what's changed. We're not alone anymore. That's what we should be talking about. Of course. <sighs> uh, that's a good shot. That is a good shot. That's kind of cool. And like, 
To be fair, the first one wasn't devoid of interesting visuals either. That wasn't its problem. Its problem was coherence and having a point um, beyond just makes you think, which didn't even pull that off well. So, all right. To sort of do with this what I did with the last one, which is see the version of a movie here that could be interesting and I could get behind. Um, I think if they were to take the angle of examining the danger of someone who idealizes someone like this version of Joker, or honestly, any version of Joker, <laughs> really, but this version of Joker in specific, the dangers of looking at someone who did demonstrably horrible stuff, regardless of whether or not you think he was pushed to it or whether it was society's fault or whatever, but idolizing someone who did horrible things and going, you've done something with your life and I haven't. There's a lot of self-doubt and toxicity and harm that can come out of that. And to actually examine that would be really interesting. And in fact, you could do it as almost a way of deconstructing the original film's own audience, which I think would be a fascinating thing to do. And that I have zero faith that this would ever actually do that. Because again, same people behind it, so far as I'm aware. Um, but like, if, if you, if I were to see this and to pitch to you what I think would be a really interesting version of it, that's what it would be. It would be putting this focus on like, you have, you have latched onto someone that you feel a kinship with and decided that what they've done with their life is more important than what you've done with yours. And honestly, there's harm that comes from that, whether you're idealizing someone who is a murderer or someone who is an influencer or someone who's a billionaire. Like, there's a lot to dig into. There was a lot you could sort of get in and pick at and really pull apart, um, which the first movie had no interest in actually digging in and actually getting its hands dirty with the concepts that it was going for. It was all surface level nonsense. Uh, as I kind of cited Chicago, uh, cause it looks like, or at least the energy coming off this is very much that the, um, musical numbers are going to be more or less fantasy scenes. Um, sort of what one or both of them sort of imagine the scene to be as opposed to what it really is, which was how they did the movie version of Chicago, that the musical numbers were basically Roxy's jazzy reinterpretation of events that were happening, but weren't happening in the way that she was kind of experiencing them in her head. Um, so, I mean, that's that's fine as a choice if you're going to make it a musical uh, for how grounded the first one certainly wanted to be. Uh, that's a, probably a smart way to go about it. That makes sense. I don't have too much else to add, though. Like, I just have no faith. No faith whatsoever that this would have the guts to deconstruct itself. Or deconstruct the the Harley um, Joker dynamic at all, for that matter. Like, it's always a toxic dynamic. And most depictions are pretty good about establishing that. There are some people who take it to be romantic, which, oh boy, that's unsettling. Um, and there are other people who just enjoy the dynamic while recognizing it's messed up, which is healthier, certainly. But it really seems like it's going down the road of, oh, look, two broken people who are broken in similar ways found each other, and isn't that beautiful in a twisted way? Ooh, edgy. And maybe that's not what it'll be, but... That is that is my guess of what it will actually be, as opposed to what I think it could be, uh, you know, in a version that I would find interesting. Uh, one of two things is going to happen with this reaction. Either it just kind of has an initial pop from this being, you know, a thing that's trending as a discussion and just fades, which is what happens with most trailer reactions, or the bizarrely prickly and um, thin-skinned fan base of the original uh, finds it and dogpiles it. E either, you know, by realizing that I didn't like the first one or just by seeing me. Um, so 
If, if this thing does decent numbers at all, it's going to come with a lot of nonsense in the comments I'm going to have to clear out. I'm calling that right now. It might do nothing, which honestly, I almost wonder if that would be better, especially considering there's a very good chance that I won't be able to monetize this because Warner Brothers have been dicks about that lately. They didn't used to be. They didn't used to be. They have been now, lately. I mean, that's not shocking. Warner Brothers sucks. And that's regardless of their output, regardless of whether you like any of the movies they've made recently or in the past. As a corporation, they suck. And I have now devolved into uh, corporate America is absolute nonsense and should be pulled apart and taken down. But uh, that should be my cue to bow out. Thank you for watching. What did you think of this trailer? Do you think I'm being overly pessimistic? Um... Be polite in whatever your comments are, although if you are disinclined to be polite, you probably aren't watching this far in the video, so I don't know why I bother. But whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Patreon pays the bills, enables me to do this as my living, even if you can't help me out that way. Like, share, subscribe. You know the YouTube stuff. That all helps. Don't worry too much about it, though. We take a relaxed attitude around here so you can come on back next time you need a break. Now to thank my highest supporting patrons, Robin Moore, Zubin Lutfola. Goddess Elida, Oliver B, Tarak, the thing that goes doink in the anime, Fare for it, Ulrich Bogdan, Loki Eris, Mer Melinda Walters, <laughs> Jen, Antiquate 808, Becky Sparks, Pranabilax the Poodle, Tracy Scrabbit, Angry Casper, Dave Hall, White Bearish, Rosalind Bennett, Toku Bluhuvian, Pau Barabajago, and Meriji. Thank you for your support and for keeping me and these guys fed. What are you doing? 